Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I am so excited to be trying out another Dollar General makeup product from their exclusive makeup brand, Believe Beauty, which I have now tried out many products from this brand on this series and I have come to love Believe Beauty. I think they make incredible products and all of them are $5 and under. Like this one here, the Matte Blur Loose Powder only cost $5. This comes in three different shades. I got the translucent shade here, but it also comes in a light medium tinted version and a darker version. And I'm excited to try this out in the many uses that I use a loose setting powder for. So to kind of mattify the shine in my skin, set my under eye concealer. So first let's see, I like when the sifter comes all the way off of a loose setting powder. I don't think this one comes out. So it just has the little holes here. And so in this case, I'll just tap off some of the powder into the lid. It actually comes out pretty easily. And let's start out with taking a fluffy brush to dust it just as an all over loose powder. I'll start out by just applying it to half of my face so we can compare the difference. Ooh. Okay, that is immediately both mattifying and blurring. Like, wow, look at that difference with it versus without it. It definitely took away all of the shine, but it doesn't look like a dry matte. You can't even detect any powder on my skin, but here is where I have my large pores and it immediately like blurred and minimized the appearance of those pores. Wow, okay, my forehead is looking so shiny. I'm really excited to set it with the powder. Wow, it really does just blend so easily. It just kind of like melts into the skin and disappears without any texture left behind. Wow. I think that looks so good. So now half of my face, matte. The other half without it. I'm gonna leave my face half and half for this video, but I really wanna apply it to the rest of my face. This side just looks so good. It really does kind of look like it has like a smoothing filter and it kind of evened out my skin tone appearance as well. That is a very, drastic difference for just a translucent powder. And I also want to see how it works for setting that under eye concealer. So I am just going in with my Dose of Colors concealer, which I really like, but it definitely does crease if I don't set it with a powder. So just gonna quickly blend this out. Okay, and I'm gonna try picking it up with my sponge here. Uh, let's see. So it has a little bit of a color to it. So it's not a completely stark white powder. But wow, this is the eye without being set with the powder. This is the eye that is set and this eye, it does look a little bit darker. Like I was saying, this powder has a little color to it, kind of like a yellow tint. And you can see how this under eye is lighter and brighter. So the powder did add some darker color, which I'm not a big fan of, but the texture looks so smooth. The texture looks exactly the same without it, with it. Like it's so smooth and skin-like, it doesn't look drying. But so wow, I'm very impressed. But for me, I think I prefer this powder all over my face rather than for the under eyes because I try and keep my under eyes brightened, lighter. I don't like to have my under eye circles visible. And I feel like this powder kind of emphasizes the under eye circles. 
So an amazing just all over setting powder for me. I do like when my setting powder for all over my face can also be the setting powder for my under eyes, but for $5, having this only be for all over my face to, to set the foundation, I think that is a fine use for this. But for those more expensive powders, which I definitely have some awesome but expensive powders, those ones I definitely need to get as much use out of them and have them be perfect for the under eyes, the face, all of that. But this I definitely will continue using as a setting powder because on my foundation and my skin, it looks so good. I just love that smoothing kind of filter effect. So thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.